Greetings from ESU number three in Omaha, Nebraska. This short training video will show you how to use Skitch on your iPad. Skitch is an app that allows you to annotate pictures on the iPad. There are a number of ways to access pictures. For this example, we're going to tap web in the top menu bar and go out on the web and look for pictures. You can see that I have typed the Google address near the top and ran a search for daylilies. While looking at the Google Images, simply tap one to select it, and then in the top left corner, tap the second icon to bring it back to Skitch to annotate. The annotation tools will appear along the left. Select the cropping tool, indicated here by the blue square, so that you can crop the part of the picture you'd like. Once you select the cropping tool, a rectangle will appear. Drag that rectangle so that it surrounds the part of the picture you'd like. You can stretch the sidebars using the blue dots. Once you're done, click the Done button in the lower right-hand corner and you'll see that all of the white area surrounding the picture has been eliminated. Using the annotation tools along the left, find the alphabet tool and then click on the screen where you'd like to add a label. Once you click, the on-screen keyboard will appear and you can type in the name of the label that you'd like to add. Simply click Done when you're done typing. Once you finish the title, you can drag it where you'd like for it to appear, and then just drop it and make the next selection. You can see I've chosen the arrow annotation tool, and I've changed the color to white. Let's add another label. You can see I've clicked, and I'll type the, the label STEM, and then click Done, when they're finished. Now remember I selected white for my arrow and so stem notice is in the white color because that's the last color that was selected. It's indicated on the left by the white circle. Again I'm drawing the arrow to indicate where the stem might be and now you can see again I'm changing colors. Um, let's go with green so we're going to select the green color and let's add another label and this time the label should be in the green color with a little bit larger font. So I click anywhere on the, on the screen, and then I'm typing the word filament. I will click Done whenever I finish typing that word, and then drag that label where I'd like for it to be. After using the green, we'll switch back to the white color and add some more arrows. So you can see I've added a small one here. Um, and using those blue dots, I can stretch those and reposition them on the screen. And now I'll add another arrow. You can see when I stretch out it gets quite large. If you'd like to get rid of one of the annotations that you've added to the screen, you simply switch annotation tools. You can see I've selected the hand tool, which is the fourth um, icon along the left, and then I simply click on the item that I would like to get rid of and tap the trash can, and that will eliminate that item. Let's do the arrow. You can see I've selected it by using the hand tool. I could stretch it out or I could tap the trash can icon along the left and it will disappear. Switching colors again, you can see along the left I've selected the white circle and changed the color to yellow. And one of the tools we have not shown you yet is the shape tool. So along the left in the annotation tools I'm selecting the circle and I'm going to switch that to the square so you can see how that changes. And then I simply click and drag on the screen to draw a square in the yellow color. To clear the entire screen, I select the trash can icon along the left and then affirm that decision by clicking Clear All. Once your annotation is finished, you can share it using the Share icon along the left. It's the third icon down, and I've selected Email. Once I click on the Email icon, a window will open and I can type in the email address of the person that I'd like to share this annotation with. I often email it to myself. In addition to email, there are a few other options for saving your image. Under the share icon, you can also save to Twitter, represented by the bird, or to the camera roll, represented by the icon to the far right. Evernote is another option. It's represented by the elephant. With this basic understanding of Sketch and the tools that are available, you should be able to begin annotating on your iPad.